There's some new capabilities available in Fabric event houses, including getting data easier and continuous ingestion. Learn all about it and about Fabric Event House this week on Data Exposed. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Today, I have a super exciting episode planned. We're going to be talking about something we don't have never talked about on this show before, and I don't know anything about. And to do that, I'm bringing on Akshay. Uh, Akshay, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Hi, Anna. My name is Akshay, and I'm a product manager at Event House. Event House is the uh, analytical database within Fabric and it forms the backbone of uh, real-time analytics. And uh, in my role, I take care of the ingestion experience as well as open source connectors. Awesome, cool. Well, it's great to have you on the show, and I'm excited to learn about all of these things, Fabric of In-House, as well as some of these Get Data type of experiences. So let's get right into it. And I think uh, a good place to start for this audience is probably what is Fabric of In-House and why would I use it? Definitely. So uh, when, when we think about Fabric Event House, uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is a solution for handling and analyzing large volumes of data, particularly in scenarios which require real-time analytics and exploration. So Event House is designed to handle large uh, data streams efficiently, and it handles uh, these large data streams, ingests the data, processes the data, and allows you to analyze these, uh, this data in real time. And uh, it is a, a scalable architecture and it allows you to uh, do free text analysis, free text search, uh, semi-structured, unstructured, structured data, any kind of data. Uh, so think of it as a large log, traces, uh, time series database. Uh, it is multi, multi capable of multiple uh, things and uh, uh, you can bring in huge volumes of data and get uh, analytics really, really quickly. Awesome, cool. I can see a lot of use cases for it, and I know it's getting a ton of adoption in Fabric today. Um, so, what is the new capabilities you want to talk about? So, I wanted to talk about uh, the Get Data experience in uh, Event House. It is a UI wizard which makes it super simple for users to bring in data from various sources. Users can have data on their local file, they can have their data on Azure storage, even Amazon S3, or even streams, even pubs in their one lake. And this wizard makes it super easy for them to bring the data and also create tables, preview the data, edit the schema on the fly, all, all of it in a no code kind of an experience. So uh, I wanted to talk about it. Awesome, cool. Do you want to take a look? Sure. Let me uh, present uh, my screen and jump into uh, uh, jump into uh, uh, Fabric. So what you see on my screen is uh, a Fabric environment, and within that, uh, it's an event house. And in the event house, under the database with uh, under the database ribbon you will see this get data option. If you click on this get data option, it pop opens the get data wizard. Now in the source selection, you can see the user can bring data from local file, Azure storage, Amazon S3, event hubs, event stream, one lake, and we continue to add more sources. But not only that, it also allows user to discover data in the real time hub or one lake catalog and bring it seamlessly to the event house. So this uh, capability uh, allows users to really find the data which they have access to. And if you want to simply bring data from your uh, local file, from your local storage, uh, from, your, from, from your desktop, it is super simple uh, using the Get Data Wizard. You can simply click on the local file wizard, give your table a name. In this case, I'm giving the name as family, and then simply browse or drag top drop the file and uh, the get data wizard will allow you to upload the file and when you click next it automatically infers the schema of the of the file that you have ju you are just trying to ingest it is giving you a preview of how the data would look like when it is ingested 
it allows you to edit the schema. You can change the column types. You can add some mapping transformations. You can play with the KQL commands for creation of the table or the mapping or uh, how you ingest the data. And once you click finish, it will simply create the table, create the mapping, and quickly ingest the data for you. And once the data is ingested uh, using the Get Data Wizard, you can uh, simply click on uh, Explore the Results, and it will allow you to uh, browse through the data really quickly. And this is essentially the, the entire concept of uh, real-time intelligence and event house. You can bring data really quickly, you can explore the data and do a lot of analytics on top of it. So if I click on explore the results, I would be able to see the see the data that I've just ingested uh, being queried. Uh, and it behind the scene, it uses uh, Custo, which powers uh, a lot of uh, analytical engines within Microsoft. Awesome. This is great. You know what I love about this is it's so powerful, it, the different options and the different kind of configurations you can do. But at the same time, it's so simple and so easy to use. And that's one of the great things uh, when it comes to Fabric and some of these new experiences. And it also looks pretty similar to some of the other Get Data experiences, which makes it just, again, just super easy for, for someone getting started uh, to be really effective here and, and go from kind of you know, getting started to actually getting the results that they want. So it's awesome to see that. Thanks for this demo, uh, Akshay. Uh, I know there's one other area your team has been investing in. I think that's around something continuous. So so what's that update? Yeah, so our objective at uh, uh, at Event House is to make the data ingestion process really seamless. And in uh, for that effort, the one thing that we have uh, recently uh, started uh, uh, working on is continuous ingestion. So we already support continuous ingestion from event hubs and event stream. But what we have added recently is continuous ingestion from Azure storage. Now, this feature uh, allows you to uh, bring data from, uh, from, uh, uh, from Azure storage into, uh, into uh, event house automatically. So imagine you have an Azure storage and a lot of, a lot of block files are being in, uh, uploaded on that Azure storage. Now, Typically, if you want to bring those files automatically to a database engine, you would have to create a pipeline, maintain those pipelines, create time triggers, create file watchers, things like that, right? Uh, and we, we uh, took a deep look at this and we thought about how, how can we simplify this. So continuous ingestion basically allows you to automatically create pipelines, maintain on event house, uh, where a user does not have to do anything additional uh, and whenever a new file or blob is uploaded to the Azure storage, it automatically would be ingested on the uh, event house. So it utilize, internally, it utilizes Azure events. It monitors Azure events such as file created or file rename. And whenever such an event occurs, it acts as a trigger uh, to the event house. And event house will go and pull that particular blob or file from the Azure storage and ingest it into event house. Uh, I can give a quick demo if you, uh, if yeah, you would like. Yeah, let's take a look. So in this demo, I'm tasked to uh, ingest uh, some blob files from my storage account. So I go to my Get Data Wizard and uh, I click on uh, uh, the Get Data Wizard. And then I select Azure Storage as the, uh, as the option. And uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to point in the Get Data Wizard where my storage account is. So I'm selecting the subscription, I'm selecting the blob storage account name, and I'm selecting the container where my family uh, uh, member files are related, uh, are stored. And once I select that, I quickly create uh, the table schema uh, of my destination table uh, by using one of the files. And uh, when I click finish, it will automatically ingest the files which are already there in the container. But additionally, it will create a pipeline to monitor this Azure storage. So now if I upload any uh, another family member, and this is emulating the uh, automatic upload of files on the storage location. So if I upload a file of another member, uh, this file should automatically get ingested in my event house without me having to do anything additional. 
and you can see this file got ingested a new record for jane has been ingested so this is this is what this feature does it uh, allows it really simplifies uh creation of pipelines behind the scene all you have to do is follow the wizard and forget about uh, you know, maintaining triggers maintaining pipelines upgrading pipelines things like that yeah no it's awesome to see i mean essentially you aren't managing the pipeline at all there's no eto pipeline this just takes care of that for you so that's awesome to see again kind of relates to what i said earlier like Super powerful and also super simple and easy to, to get started with. Um, Akshay, I learned a lot during this episode about event houses and about the various ways you can easily get data into an event house. So thanks so much for coming on the show. Uh, any final tips or tricks for folks who are just getting started here? Yeah, so uh, uh, think about uh, all the database uh, workloads that you have been using and think about how you can supercharge analytics for your customers by making those uh, database workloads real time. So gone are the days when you have to wait for the report uh, for 24 hours. You can use uh, event houses uh, to generate reports on the fly because we are living in the uh, world of instant 10 minute deliveries, 10 minute uh, 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 food parcels or things like that, right? And response, uh, response rate of our customers, response rate of uh, of uh, uh, of uh, us uh, uh, to to the customers is uh, is getting really really fast. So whatever role you are playing uh, in uh, in your organization, think about how you can accelerate it. And uh, the best way to accelerate it is is to adopt real time intelligence. Awesome. I love it. Well, Akshay, thanks so much for coming on the show. To our viewers, if you like this episode, go ahead, give it a like, leave us a comment, and let us know what you think about these new capabilities and why you're using Fabric of In-House for. And we'll put some links in the description for you to learn more. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.